2018 Honda CRV with uh, almost 100,000 kilometers. It developed an interesting issue. Start the engine and see that the cylinder number four is slightly misfiring. Right here. Yeah. We already swapped the coils. Uh, it's not the coil, something else. Probably not the spark plug. So we're gonna investigate into this. We start from the basics. Let's check the air filter. Yeah, that would do it, but I still don't think that's the main problem. Let's keep looking. Pulled out the dipstick, cleaned it up. Now putting it in. Uh huh. So oil is lower than needed, needed and uh, looks like very dark. We're changing the oil as well, but that's probably not the main reason. Not doing the fuel injection cleaning. Basically flushing the injectors, cleaning them out with a special chemical that's inside this bottle. Checking compression on all the cylinders, starting from the fourth, the one we have issues with. Okay. We have exactly 200 PSI or 14 bars not bad very good compression cylinder number three okay also 200 psi maybe like 5 psi more also great okay cylinder number two Also 200 PSI. Okay, and last one, cylinder number one. Let's see. All right, also 200 PSI. So all the compression, all the cylinders have even compressions, about 200 PSI or 14 bars. No problems there. So this is the following morning. After we have done all the injector cleaning, uh, oil change, throttle body service and all of that good stuff. Check the plugs, check the compression, change the air filter. This car is cold now. We're gonna start it and watch the data. Let's see what it does. And it still does the cylinder four misfire. Okay. There is still a lot of it. Let's see how long it takes for the misfire to stop. Yeah, I can still feel that slight miss. Good. It has evened out and it's not misfiring anymore. So it took like a minute or so to go to normal. Okay. Let's go see if there's any codes. Yes, there is still the cylinder number four misfire pending code and the fuel system too rich. 
we have done some driving uh, highway not highway we've been driving for about half an hour or so used to misfire the cylinder number four once in a while especially when coming to a stop like at the red light it would uh, briefly misfire for a couple times i didn't feel it uh, the way the engine works, but I noticed it on the scan tool. So we're gonna make a short video until we actually see that misfire, if, if it's still present, because it's been improving. It's been less and less of it, and uh, I haven't seen it for the last five minutes, so let's see if it still does it. We're gonna have some city driving now with some traffic lights we should induce it we should be able to induce that behavior oh there's one there's one misfire right now but that's a single misfire in like god knows how long so this is really really hard to find but it's always been cylinder number four it's uh we replaced the plugs in different positions. We replaced the coils. The only thing we haven't switched is the is the injectors. The fuel injectors have have been in in the same place. We have not touched the injectors. We only cleaned them, and I think it improved because it was a lot of misfires before. There's just once in a while a little bit of misfire happening, so it's definitely getting better nothing now during like high load operation it does not seem to do any misfires only when it's uh, decelerating and almost stopping nothing now during like high load up uh, operation it does not seem to do any misfires only when it's uh, decelerating and almost stopping all right so we have some good news the misfire has not been happening for the past like four traffic lights I, I stopped like four times this traffic is pretty slow and uh, I have had zero misfires so that happened after I shut it down for like 15 minutes. I had to go to the store, pick something up. And then for 15 minutes, it was not uh, running. And then I came back in, I restarted it. And I drove it for probably about five kilometers, had like four stops and still zero. So let's record some of this footage to see if, uh, if we can get at least a single misfire otherwise i will uh, i will consider this repaired so injectors have been oh great we have a stop now let's slow down normally to traffic light and see wow we have zero and i am noticing a much uh, a leaner fuel ratio air fuel ratio because it did have a fuel system to rich code also. So what I was thinking is the injector was just flooding it, like just giving it too much fuel. But now it's, it's still a little bit richer at idle, but it goes to lean side as well. As opposed to before, it was only, only going rich. See, whenever it goes to 15, that's lean. and zero, zero misfires. Let's accelerate from this light to confirm. Oops. Confirm the zero misfire. And we're gonna stop for a coffee in Starbucks and we will find out. 
there's another stop right here. I'll make a left here. Great. Still zero. Zero misfires. Isn't that great? Wow. I think I've repaired this vehicle. So the injectors did need to go on the highway and like clear themselves out a little bit. We did have a couple of misfires. We had three. But that's not too bad. I think it won't trigger a code with such a little misfiring. Okay, so this is the third day. We are diagnosing this Honda CRV. Yesterday I Draw it for probably about 50 kilometers. So decided to check for the codes. There's no pending codes. Uh, so let's go to live data and uh, bring up the misfire counters. Yeah. All right, so cylinder four still shows the misfires. Let's see for how long. The fuel mixture seems to be okay. The cylinder four is still missing a bit. But we didn't have the codes, the pending codes, which we did before. So that's a good sign. That may be okay to return the car to customer for, for more driving. Uh, Got to do some highway driving. Definitely a lot of highway driving to clear it up. Yeah, there you go. So after about a minute or even less than a minute, it evened out and there is no more missing. So I think it's the injector. I personally think it's the injector that's uh, not having a very good spray pattern. And when engine is cold, it needs that atomization more than it would when it warmed up. When it's already warm, the fuel atomizes better. And yeah, that's what's happening. It's just uh, not a perfect uh, injector spray pattern. That's, that's all I can say about it. Uh, if you think anything else, please let me know in the comments and we will, it'll be helpful for further diagnosis if needed. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.